Okay guys, I should be doing other things, but instead, of course, I'm not. <laughs> um, so, my friend Mike Deacon, I will link his channel and website down below, has a bunch of new products coming out, including some acrylic templates for tearing pages. Um, not that that's a new thing on the market because it's been around, but his are pretty unique and really great. And if you're gonna buy, store buy one, I would recommend going to a seller like him. You support his small creative business, which is fabulous. And if the lighting is a little off, it's because it's dark and stormy. Anyway, um, I have a bunch of leftover plastic um, from an inventory clear out from my own Etsy shop and I love mics and may order them, but there are some shapes I kind of wanted. Let me show you. So I have these strips of plastic that were from some um, inventory. These are um, like dollar store cutting boards, the flexible kind that come two or three in a package, I think for $1.25. Um, you can use plastic packaging if that's what you have, but if you have to buy something, just go buy these cheap cutting boards at your local dollar store. And if you've seen my latest Artsy Trio video, which I will link also down below, I did this really cute landscape with tape and torn paper, and that combined with Mike's new product got me really thinking. So I took one of those strips I wrote, drew on it with Sharpie, and then I cut it out with scissors and an X-Acto knife. So now I have th these two pieces. And then once I did that, then I was just like on a roll, and then I just kept creating designs and shapes, and I just kept going and going and going. So now I'm gonna show you how you can use these on an art journal page, not that one, this one. I have this um, small composition book. My friend Michelle Mitchell got me a whole bunch of these last year. And I've got this page that already has some stuff on it. So we're gonna clip it open. I'm gonna speed forward through my process and show you how I use this. It's similar to how I did the thing in the RT Trio video. Um, but in this case, instead of paper that can only be used once or twice, I have these pieces of plastic. These can be used over and over and over again. All right, let's get going. I'll be back.
is that you can just create your own DIY journaling mark making tools it doesn't just have to be a stamp it can be something that's I, I don't know what do you call these they're not a stencil are they anyway scrap plastic cheap cutting boards you don't have to spend a ton of money and you create something that's really cool anyway think about it watch the video links um, link that I'll put down below and check out Mike's um, website and his channel uh, and yeah go out and create some cool art create some cool tools for yourself something I'm very into right now and go out and have a great day do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later bye guys